guys welcome to my channel vinyl beauty or welcome back i'm debbie if you don't know me so for today's video i put up a poll on my community tab asking you what you would like to see me film with next because i'd recently picked up five new palettes didn't really know what to film with this weekend i thought i'd leave it in your hands and you've picked a corker honestly so i'm really excited but if you don't know what palettes they were or you didn't catch my recent haul video I'd picked up the Melt Gemini, Melt Gemini 2, the Pat McGrath Mothership 9, which is the Utopian Dream, the Mothership 10, which is the Moonlit Seduction, and the Ace Beauty Ambiance. And without a doubt, with 46% of the vote, you voted to see the Ace Beauty Ambiance palette, this gorgeous palette here. Super excited about this one because this is such a beautiful colour story. So if you want to see the palette close up and see me create my very first look with it, I'll also give you some impressions of the formula because I've only ever used the old Ace Beauté formula. This will be my first time using the new formula, which isn't very new anymore. It's been out a long time, but, but yeah, I've never tried this formula. So super, super excited. So without further ado, I'm going to scoot you in and we'll get started creating a look with the Ace Beauté Ambiance Palette. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you're not familiar with the palette, this is the palette. It's super beautiful. We've got eight mattes and we've got seven shimmers. The shimmers look ultra sparkly. They might be that formula that I'm not so keen on though, you know, like the putty formula, so we'll see. But the mattes just look super saturated, deep colours. Really, it's a, a full colour story, I think, but, but I'm up for these sort of colours all the time. I love this kind of colour story. So today I thought we'd do a purple look, so we're going to definitely be using this shade which is called Mystical. I want to bring a bit of this yellow into the proceedings as well and probably stick to these mattes here. So probably just this kind of area. I don't want to put lots and lots of colours together. just want to do something very cohesive and beautiful and just try out this palette for the first time. But I've got so many ideas of looks I could create combining the colours, but today this colour is like really speaking to me, so that's what we're going to use. So I'm just going to prime with the Sigma Eyeshadow Base in Persuade. It's been a little while since I've used this one. Just thought we would use it today. So how have you guys been? It feels like an age since I filmed a, a makeup look because if you didn't catch my haul video, I had a bit of an accident and fell down the stairs and I've been struggling with pain with my side muscles, like my obliques and probably my rib muscles as well it's it's not been comfortable so today i'm feeling so much better though that i feel out of practice for youtube so we'll see how it goes today so i think as i say i want to go in with mystical so that's what we're going to do i want to pack mystical in my outer corner oh and already you can see i'm going to like these mats that is ultra ultra pigmented without really having to scrub too much in the pan. There's not too much kick up in the pan either, which normally when they're pigmented shades like this, you get a lot of kick up, but there isn't. So I'm gonna keep my eye open because I want this to be quite a dramatic look that we can see this color all the way through my crease. So keep my eye open and bring it across. But it is higher than my natural crease, if that makes sense. We're going for a rounded kind of shape today. Oh, that's so easy to work with though, I really, really like that. Might be a bit intimidating for some, but I love these kind of shades. And yeah, that's looking good. So just gonna do the same on the other eye just to catch that up. I'm gonna take that same shade in my outer corner here of my lower lash line. I'm not gonna bring that completely all the way through. Probably to about two thirds of the way across, I think. I might put a shimmer of a different colour on the lower lash line just for a bit of interest there. There's really not been much hype for this palette at all on YouTube and I can't understand why. I think it got lost in all of the, the releases for Halloween and nobody really noticed that it had come out. But I've not seen hardly any videos on it. I think it's really good so far. In this colour, wow. I'm not going to take any more colour on this brush but I'm going to start just beginning to blend this. I'm using really, really light pressure and just blending just around the edges. As I say, I'm not going to bring anything else in. 
just going to use this colour to blend itself. Just very, very light pressure and just circular motions just to blur the edges here. That shade goes a very, very long way. Now next I want to bring this shade Delightful into the mix and I'm going to use that as a blending shade. Now they're, they're not kind of the shades you normally would mix together so it might be interesting. Don't know if it's going to muddy up but I just really wanted to try that shade out. So we're going to take that above that mystical shade that we've laid down and I think it's working okay actually. Yeah, I quite like the effect that that's giving. I'm going to focus it a bit more on the front though. I'm not going to take it all the way around. I'm just going to focus it here. Yeah, I don't think I want to bring any other colours in. So as I said, I just need to, to blend this purple on the edges now. Just to try and give it a bit more of a seamless kind of blend here. Using a Sigma E25 to do this. I love how easily that's blending, but we're not losing the pigment either. Okay, now for the shimmer, it's going to go in with NYX Glitter Primer and do a half cut crease. I want to take this really deep shimmer here, Twilight, in the outer part of my lids here. Put in a little bit of that there, that's going to kind of be the transition from the matte to the shimmers. It is quite a putty shimmer though, but it is picking up nicely. I think if I'm honest, I preferred the shimmer formula in the old Ace Beauté palettes. Everything seems to be these kind of very emollient kind of yeah, putty shimmers these days. Now as we move across the lids here, I'm going to go in with the shade Charming, this one here. And that seems that it's more like a satin shade. Just going to pop a little bit of that there. Too much difference between that and the Twilight shade if I'm honest with you. Now that one's not doing a lot for me. Oh, there we go. Got to really dig into that shimmer to get it to have some payoff, really. But that's looking nice now. I've got it on. And then for this inner part of my lids here, really excited to try this shade, Aura. It just looks intriguing. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Where that meets the shimmer on my lid, I'm just tapping over that just to there's a little bit more of a seamless blend there. I feel like I just want a bit more definition coming down to give it a bit more of that cut crease shape. So I'm going to go back into Mystical just with a liner brush and just fake it really. Just bring that down a little bit further. I think that's given me more of the look I was looking for. Didn't quite come far enough down. So then in the front part of my lower lash line here, I want to go in with Magical, this one here. I'm going to take that into my inner corners as well. That one's a bit less kind of putty-like and a bit more of my kind of shimmer, I think. Really pretty and sparkly. It is quite magical. Its name is, is very apt for the shadow that it is. Okay, that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera for mascara, liner and a lip and I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Really happy with how it turned out. I do have some thoughts on the palette though, so we'll get onto that in a moment. But to finish off the look, I've used Illa Masca Gel Liner to create a wing. I've got the Melt Supernatural Mascara on and then Nablus Cupid Arrow Stylo Number 1 in my waterline. And then for lipstick today, I've no idea how to pronounce this, it's Recordos, something along those lines. It's one of the melt lipsticks from the Amore in Mariposa's collection. It's the first time I've used this one, it's such a beautiful colour. So the palette then, hmm, I love the mattes, really do. I think that colour Mystical is the star of the show, absolutely gorgeous. I even like that colour, the delightful colour. The shimmer, sadly for me, I've got that putty kind of, I don't know, just too of a greasy formula. I don't know how to explain it, but they're not like powder shimmers, almost like cream. And I don't like that kind of texture, personally. I think they've gone on super nice, but I think they'll probably crease on me. That's what normally happens with these kind of shimmers. They're not too glittery, which is good, because I don't like the glitter particles in my eyes. But I just miss the days of just like traditional foil shimmers or just normal shimmers. I don't know. I seem to be in the minority because all of the palettes are, are moving over to this kind of shimmer formula. 
but I absolutely love the mattes and I love the colour story. So, not that I bought it. This bottom row of mattes, absolutely gorgeous. And I love the warm tones of the, the mattes at the top as well. So, I will get lots of use out of it. And I will use those shimmers, but they're just not my favourite. So, yeah, I, I think, as I say, don't let that put you off the palette in any way. It's just a personal choice thing. I just don't like those as I say, putty kind of shimmers that you get in Beauty Bay palettes and they feel very similar in texture to those. But yeah, I love how the look came out. I'm not saying that they're bad in any way, you know, they work, but, but yeah, just not my favourite shimmer formula really. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the video though guys. You'll have to let me know if you're interested in this palette, if you've picked it up, what you think of the new Ace Beauté formula in general. Is it just me that doesn't like these kind of shimmers? I'd love to know. Let's chat about it in the comments. But that's all I've got for you today. So I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>